Felicia, a dark circle who has been given love and support from Sister Rose. When Sister Rose died, Felicia decided to travel the world in hopes to help others based on her beliefs and her faith. She has Roland Buckler and Delta Kick. And according to Jules Marvel 2 tier list, she's currently ranked as the 13th character in D tier. But even with her placement in the tier list, what is it that makes Felicia a ferocious dark stalker? To understand this question, we need to watch today's episode of Dad and Kids Play 1. What's good, everybody? I'm Dad from Dad and Kids Play 1. And this is Felicia Moveless on Marvel vs. Capcom 2. We're going to go over all Felicia moves and discuss tips and strategies to help you learn to play the character better. Also, if you like these type of videos, then consider giving it a like or maybe a subscribe. Thanks. Before we cover the special moves, first let us take a look at the basic attacks. Okay, starting off this list is the Rolling Buckler. This move is Felicia Roll Attack. To do this move, do a quarter circle forward and press any punch button. Felicia rolls at the opposition for a single hit. The distance and range of the attack depends on the strength of the button that's pressed. While the Rolling Buckler is a great combo finisher, Felicia has several options to do while performing the move. When doing the Rolling Buckler, press Light Punch to do a Nico Punch. Press Fierce Punch to do her multi hitting uppercut. Press any kick to go into a slide. Use all of these options to keep the enemy guessing. Up next is the attack called Cat Spike. This move is another horizontal attack. To do the attack, do a Dragon Punch motion plus any punch button. The Light Punch version has less range while the first punch variation travels further across the screen. So, even though the first punch cat spike has greater range, the light punch version is almost instantaneous. It is also the one you want to use as a combo finisher. While the cat spike is another cool addition to the overall theme of Felicia being a cat lady, I much rather prefer using the rolling buckler. The delta kick is a vertical move that can be used like an anti-air. To do the move, do a dragon punch motion plus any kick button. This move has fast startup time and is an excellent combo finisher. Now, it's important to know that the Delta Kick doesn't have any range on the initial attack and is mostly vertical. Its range mostly comes from the dive kick portion of the move. In my humble opinion, I believe that this is the ideal move to do at the end of an aerial rave. The Sand Splash is a very useful attack. 
to do the move do a quarter circle forward plus any key button. So this attack has range, but keep in mind that Felicia does not move forward when executing the move. Therefore, your distance from the enemy should be anywhere between medium to close range when doing the move. The Sand Splash itself scores for two hits with no difference between the Light Kick and Fierce Kick variation. This move is also an excellent combo finisher. The Hellcat is Felicia Command Grab. To do the attack, do a half circle back plus any kick button. Like all grabs, you have to be very close to execute this move. At the same time, you run the risk of being left wide open while attempting to execute this attack. While the Hellcat has cool animation and it shows Felicia playful nature, it does more damage than a regular throw. Felicia has three normal throws, press forward and fierce punch to execute her fierce punch throw. Press forward and fierce kick to execute her fierce kick throw. Press forward and fierce punch in mid air for an aerial fierce punch throw. Press back when by the wall to do a wall claim. If you hold back, Felicia will hold her position for a little while. Press down back while on the wall to slide immediately. To do the kitty slash, press back and fierce kick. The kitty slash is a two hit attack. Felicia has one launcher in the game. Do a standing fierce kick for the standard launcher. You can do Felicia's taunt by pressing the select button. Alternatively, hold light kick and press start if you're playing the Dreamcast version. So the first hyper I would like to cover is called a dancing flash. This is the move where Felicia does a rush down combo, which ends in her uppercut attack. To do the move, do a quarter circle forward plus both punch buttons. This move can only be done on ground. It has fast startup time and is very combo friendly. The Dancing Flash has full screen range, but I find the attack to be highly effective to be done at the end of a combo. Like all other Felicia attacks, this Hyper is very combo friendly. The second Hyper combo on the list is called Super Sand Flash. This is where Felicia would do a Hyper based on the Sand Splash attack. To do the attack, do a quarter circle forward plus both kick buttons. This hyper does average damage when it connects and it's full screen range as well. If you get hit while doing this hyper, the sand will continue to move but it will not hit the opponent. Like all other Felicia attacks, I find the attack to be highly effective at the end of a combo. So 
So the final hyper I would like to discuss is called Please Help Me. This is where Felicia summons other feline characters to attack the enemy. To do this hyper, do a quarter circle back plus both kick buttons. So this attack comes out fast, but not as fast as the first two hypers. From my understanding, the Catwoman tracks the opponent. If it connects, they will deliver a brutal beatdown. Please Help Me is the most damaging combo Felicia has, yet it has the worst recovery as well, so please keep that in mind. This hyper serves as a good combo finisher as well. Here's what to expect when you use Felicia as an assist character. Felicia Alpha Assist will throw a Fierce Kick Delta Kick. Her Beta Assist will use a Fierce Kick Sand Splash. And her Gamma Assist will perform a Fierce Punch Cat Spike. Overall, Felicia is a rushdown character. She doesn't have any projectiles, so try to pair her up with the character that has one. With her as a point character, you want to find an opening to get in. So you generally want to be at medium close to close range to the opponent, and that's where she can be the most effective. With that being said, here are some tips to help your gameplay with Felicia. Felicia is a rushdown character. So that means she has nothing but combos. Just about all her moves can be comboing to, and that's including her hypers. Her Stand and Fierce Punch is three hits. Do the Stand and Fierce Punch near the end of a combo before going into a combo finisher or a hyper. Felicia doesn't have an aerial dash, but she can cover ground by doing the Delta Kick. Felicia doesn't have a projectile, but she has a sand splash which has some insane range. Whenever using Felicia as an assist, make sure to use the beta one, which is the first kick sand splash. Well, that's it for this week's installment. And like I said before, please let me know in the comment section who you would like to see me cover next in the Marvel and Capcom series. I'm Dad Mishima from Dad and Kids Play 1. Hope you all have a wonderful day, and we'll see you next game. Peace out.